Okay, Martin O'Neill has been named Nottingham Forest manager. Um, it's not a bad choice, uh, although his recent managerial format for both uh, Republic of Ireland and, and club in club roles hasn't been as good as his earlier managerial form, but I still think he's a very, very astute choice to have. Uh, you've got to look at when Martin O'Neill can can manage at his best, and that means when a club is united and going in the right way, he can do things. Uh, he got Wickham Wanderers into the Football League. He went to Leicester City, won them a couple of League Cups. He ended up uh, Celtic for a while, uh, won them a couple of league titles, League Cups and Scottish FA Cups and got them to European Cup final. And obviously uh, he spent time at Aston Villa, uh, back to back to back top six finishes, I think consistently in the top six uh, for several seasons. Uh, with a far smaller budget uh, than the teams above them. So he was competitive with Aston Villa. He obviously has taken on the Republic of Ireland role in recent times. So he hasn't been in club management for a few years, which will take some adjusting to back into club management. Um, he's been out of work uh, since November. So there's going to be a bit of adjusting in, in style of play because international football is a, a lot different uh, to club football. You don't see your players day in, day out. Uh, you do a lot more scouting of players as an international manager with an international setup. You only play a handful of games a year outside of tournaments, whereas club games, you play week in, week out. So um, that may benefit him uh, with with scouting of players uh, and, and, and using the scouting system to prepare yourself for an opposition. But he's not been into the rigours of day-to-day uh, football management. He hasn't had to deal with um, day-to-day club issues that are significantly different uh, to international um, issues. On that point, however, he's still a very astute man manager. He's a very, very good thinker. Uh, there's a reason why he has a PhD. Yes, there is a reason why he has a PhD. He is exceptionally intelligent. He's a good thinker of the game. He's also a good man manager and he will improve players. Uh, we've seen this at almost every club he's been at. Players have raised their game and got better. The issue with Nottingham Forest is they've had 11 managerial appointments since 2011, including Martin O'Neill, who's been appointed today. And he's not the first club legend in that spell uh, to uh, have been given the managerial reins. Stuart Pearce is the latest club legend, although there have been others who've managed at Nottingham Forest um, since retirement from football, uh, from playing. Stuart Pearce came in. First five games, four wins and a draw, great fanfare, and it all went out on a damp squib not that long after. So, Martin O'Neill, yes, I think, A, is a better manager than Stuart Pearce, not denying that, and B, he's more experienced than Stuart Pearce. But C, he is also a club legend, and sometimes being a club legend doesn't always work out as a manager at the said club when you've been a legend playing at that club and have one great success. That's something Nottingham Forest fans have to be aware of, is the lack of managerial stability. Will Martin O'Neill uh, be around for a long time? I feel that Martin O'Neill, um, when he's in a club with stability, he does very, very well. When he's at a club which doesn't have that stability... And that includes transfer funds, uh, squad stability, managerial stability. He doesn't do as well. Uh, something else to look out for. Uh, but uh, I think he is the right man because he does understand the club. He's passionate about Nottingham Forest. Um, he was a, a great servant to the club as a player. So I can see him doing well with the club. They're not actually they're only four points out of the playoffs. So I don't uh, I don't understand why Ito Karanka felt the need to walk away. They're not doing badly in the league. He's you know they're doing what the club were aiming to do, which was be in the playoff hunt. Obviously, transfer policy was a big issue. What will Martin O'Neill think about transfer policy? If that becomes an issue, will he walk away? Uh, because obviously the goal is to get the club in the Premier League and there is two weeks left of the transfer window. If transfer policy becomes an issue, will Martin O'Neill leave in the summer? Will this be just a short-term appointment? Because that is a concern that I have. If transfer policy is going to be a problem uh, and how the squad is made up and how what constitutes the squad and how many young players and how many new players and how many existing players from, from previous managers, if transfer policy and selection becomes an issue like it did for Ito Karanka, could that make things more difficult for Martin O'Neill as well. So there we go, Martin O'Neill has been named manager. He obviously has had great success in the past with clubs, um, but I think the, the manager, managerial instability and the transfer policy, they could be sticking points going forward uh, in the summer if Martin O'Neill lasts that long, just saying. Um, 
also they're midway through the transfer window now so it's going to be interesting to see if a martin o'neill was given any funds to spend and how much flexibility he's given in this transfer window so thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe place your comments below and i'll have some more videos for you soon